Hey, what's up guys, Rogor here, and today we will talk about strings and concatenation. So, in a previous video, I already showed you guys what a string is. So, a string is nothing but a sequence of characters that is a data type. So, here is an example of a string. Local string example. So, I'm just creating a variable, and I'm going going to assign a string to it. So let's assign the string hello. My name is TNF hacks. So what a string is, is it's just words. It can be just one word. It can be with two words. It can be just like K. Hey. It's H. This is all a string. Well, this is a character, but we all we all call it string. So, essentially, what a string is, is just a sequence of characters. Now, there are different kinds of functions used in order to change strings. For example, there is a thing called string dot lower. So, what this is, string, is basically like a library. So, imagine string is a library filled up with different functions that do different things. In this case, this library is filled up with different functions that change strings, are used to play around with these strings. One of these functions is known as dot .lower. So, what this function does is, when you input a string right here, it lowers all the letters, so it makes all of the letters lowercase. So, for example, if I input the string string example and then let's assign this result to a new variable new string equals string.lower and then let's print out new string let's play and in the output we get hello my name is tnfx and it's all lowercase Another function, for example, is upper. So what upper does is it makes all the letters in a string uppercase. So if I play, hello, my name is TNFX. This can be very useful in order to compare strings or just to make sure that all the letters are lowercase so you won't mess up uppercase and lowercase, you just have to check with lowercase and we might be using string dot lower or string dot upper in our future videos. Now another cool function is string dot length. Well in order to get the length of the string you can say string dot length and then put the string example and if I print out string dot length it says twenty five. Now if we count I mean what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We have 25 letters and white spaces all together in this string. Now this can be very useful. For example, if you want a player to type a message in a text box and you want to limit it to a certain amount of letters and white spaces, you can, for example, check the, check the length of the string he inputted and say, okay, if the length is greater than this, then say you entered too many letters. Now, what is concatenation? Well, in our previous videos, in order to print out multiple strings, we would have to do print string one, string one, or, and then print string two, and so on. Well, this can be very inconvenient and also can be sometimes inefficient because what if you want to print out an output with string 1 and string 2 located on one line? Even better, what if you want to print out, for example, local grade A equals 40? What if you want to print out grade A and string 1 on the same line? Well, for that we use concatenation. What concatenation is, is it's basically an addition of two strings, or 
it's an addition of two things. So for example, if I did dot dot grade A and I play, it will say string 1, 40. So right here, these two dots are the operator for concatenation. When you put two dots, and it has to be after the string, you can't just put two dots in here. It has to be outside of the quotation. What it does is it combines the first string or variable and then the second one after it. So what this does is it takes string one and then says, hey, okay, I have the concatenation very operator and let me combine grade A with it. Now you see right here, let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. String 140, it's all together. Well, a simple way to just have a space is just to add a space right here. And if you play, it says string 1 and then 40 with a space. Well, that was it for today. Today's video was a bit shorter, but I will hopefully be releasing more videos soon. And make sure to practice this at home because we will be using some of these functions in our scripts in the future and concatenation is very useful especially when we're going to be using UIs and different string values so make sure you practice concatenation and if you have any questions just leave a comment below bye